I'd always thought soups were really difficult to make and at the end of a long working day I wasn't sure if I had the energy but that was until I found this recipe for zucchini soup What I love about this recipe is that you can serve it cold in the summer months or heat it up in the winter Isn't that a great recipe to have in your repertoire Let's get started This recipe for zucchini soup serves two You'll need one large size zucchini which is about between 300 and 350 grams. You can start by cutting the ends off. Cut the zucchini in half. Cut each of those halves into two halves lengthwise and then just roughly chop them into half moons. We're not aiming for any kind of precision in chopping here because this is all going to get blended up in the end. So just roughly chop the zucchini. That's the zucchini chopped for us. We need the zest of one lemon about this size. When you're zesting lemons, it's important to get just the yellow sunshiny bits and not the white bit. The white bit is what causes bitterness. It can take the flavor of anything that you're making from lemony to really bitter. The last little bits of lemon zest are a little bit tougher to get out. Makes you build your muscles. Almost every Indian home has a pressure cooker, and that's exactly what I'm going to use to make this zucchini soup. But if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can still make the soup very easily. All you need. is a heavy bottomed saucepan and I'll tell you the rest as we go along add the olive oil with the flame on medium high heat and I think it's heated up already add minced garlic saute it for about a couple of minutes you can hear it sizzle be careful not to let the garlic burn there's nothing worse than burnt garlic in your soup add a tiny pinch of chili flakes if you like a little bit of heat in your food As soon as you can smell the chilies in the air, quickly add the lemon zest. But be careful because lemon zest can go from fragrant to burnt very quickly. Add the zucchini bits. Toss it around so it gets coated in the spice mixture. Let it cook for just about a couple of minutes and pour in the vegetable stock. Take the flame up to high. and wait for this mixture to come to a boil. If you're using a pressure cooker at this point, you should take the heat back down to low, put on the lid safely and take the heat back up to high so that you can give it two whistles. If you're not using a pressure cooker, you can just replace this with a regular lid and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Once the soup has cooled completely, Use a handheld blender like this one or even a food processor to completely blend this soup. Make sure that there are no chunks left in the soup. Just blend away all the chunky pieces of zucchini. I bet you'd never imagine that it was going to take on a neon green color. Season the soup with a little bit of salt and pepper. Actually, it's salt and pepper to taste. stir when you season to taste it's always a good excuse to taste i think we're ready to have a nice lemon zested zucchini soup i'm just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of olive oil and some freshly grated pepper 